What's up guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me in today's Way of the Hunter video. I got a couple of exciting videos coming out. So this one is about a five star mule deer. So I have been looking at this herd for several days. And what I mean by that, actual several days of real time, but a bunch of clock resets. So I keep coming to the spot. I am located in Diamond Drill. You do have to have a pass to get to this area. So I've been spotting this four star mule deer a bunch of times so the herd has some superior genetics it's a great area for mule deer as well as whitetail so i keep coming back to this area there he is he's still a four star so we're gonna have to keep coming back so what i've been doing the last few days in the whitetail and mule deer grind is i've been taking out the smaller two and three star mature bucks so at first I was taking out the one star and the two star for sure. Started taking some three stars, checking their fitness level, and they were not high enough. So they were 67 to 80 percent. They probably need to shoot for 90 percent or higher to be a four star or five star. So I definitely want to fill the trophy lodge with some five star bucks. So also I've been working on my perks. So the deer grunt caller first level attracts females. So I've gone out to some other areas like south of Bear Den Ranch, used a deer grunt caller, taken out some females and sell them. And that's how you perk up and get to level two, which will attract some males. So I need to continue this to get to level three. So I'm gonna take this guy out right between the shoulders. No tracking involved in this one. So I've also noticed something strange at the camp. So every time I fast travel to the camp early in the morning, the mule deer are feeding. I've literally fast traveled to the campsite, turned around, and 15 mule deer were staring at me. And of course, as soon as I took one step and moved, they all spooked. So several times they have been in this location. So finally, once again, travel to the campsite early in the morning, and sure enough, they are on the other side of that big rock, but today he is a five-star mule deer. So slowly working their way down closer to the water. So I've been slowly crouched down, tracking this big boy, trying to get a clear shot. So I have taken some other five star mule deers in this area. So the herds over here are great. This is an awesome place to hunt and diamond drill for mule deer and whitetail. So I've been watching these guys for several minutes and it looks like they're kind of stuck. So they might be stuck on the tree just like we can get stuck on the tree. Maybe they can get stuck on trees too. So I have recently got stuck, actually got stuck this morning, hunting some big horn sheep. And I was able to lay down and crawl away from the tree and get unstuck. Also, not sure if you know this, but mule deer and elk and other species can fast travel just like we can. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you. So I've seen it happen a couple of times and it's going to happen again in this video. So I'm patiently waiting for this guy to walk out, get away from the smaller deer. So here we go. We're going to take a shot. Bam! Looks like a good shot. So we're going to mark the spot, which sometimes I forget to do, and it's hard to track him down. So now is when the fun starts. The tracking process begins. So I have... I guess I would say leveled up, but I've become quite better at tracking deer. So I will say this, the first few days I made some shots with Grandpa's old rifle. Did not find them, wasn't able to track them down. Ran around Bear Creek looking at some pheasants yesterday. And what did I find? Laying down in the water, a mule deer that had been tracking them for over 1,000 hours. So yes that's game time not actual time so looks like we had a good shot we're gonna track him down so it looks like he went up and then decide to come back down so the whole time i'm doing this i'm still hearing some noise 
in the distance like some crashing like a mule deer is spooked so he goes up then decides to come around back to this rock now I did go up on the top of the rock did not find any blood but check out this blood trail right here so he tries to run up the rock so I wasn't sure if he was able to do that but I did see a doe run up this rock so I actually went up there for quite a while and looked at him so nice blood stain on the rock and when you come down here no blood trail at all and the whole time I'm doing this like I said there's a deer over there stuck in the rocks so he's constantly making noise. So after several minutes of tracking this guy down, could not find any more blood trail from him. So I looked all around on the bottom, looked all around on the top of this giant rock right here, could not find any blood trail. So after a few minutes, I decided, let's just take this guy out and watch what happens. Watch on top of this rock. Boop. Oh, there he is. There's the deer. The whole herd just came back. So it looks like the mule deer ran away to their safe zone, did a quick head count and realized old man Fred was missing. And the last place they seen him was at the waterfall. So they quickly fast traveled back to the waterfall, took a look around and realized old man Fred is dead. So then in the made haste, booked it back to their safe zones. So now this is not the first time I've seen this glitch. It happened to me before hunting some elk. So after taking a shot on an elk, when they spooked, one of the elks got stuck in the boat dock. So what happened? Every couple of minutes, the entire herd would respawn right by the elk. Actually, more elk got also stuck in the boat dock. So as long as one elk was alive, they would keep respawning over and over. So I did end up harvesting about four elks. But once all of them were dead, no more elk respawned. So how do you track an elk when he can fast travel? How do I track down the five-star mule deer that I just take a shot on? Well, I could never find it. But if he is still out there laying on the ground somewhere in Diamond Drill, maybe one day I'll find him. Now, if you're wondering if I was upset after this happened, oh, yes. That's why I did the 24-hour rule. I waited 24 hours. So I wasn't dropping the F-bomb in this video every 10 seconds after I lost a five-star mule deer. Now, am I still playing? Absolutely. So this is the location where I hunt and diamond drill. Starting from the campsite, I make my way down to the little pond and usually follow the creek. So guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Do me a big favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on hunting. Stay happy and I'll see you next time.